Hello viewers, morning, another beautiful day, yep, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good, or excellent, what? okay you Windows 11 users, oh your, mar your, your, your market share climbs, huh, alright, hmm, it says here Windows 11 market share climbs to a uh, new all time high of 33.37%, hmm, and we got five uh, debaters or politicians in the comments, alright, we'll get to that in a minute. Says here, uh, Stat Counter has released its latest data, including information about the worldwide market share of desktop Windows uh, version. According to the report, in September 2024, Windows 11 made a significant jump and reached uh, a new all time high re by record since its launch in October 2021. Wow, time flies. <laughs> now, there, now, three years after day one, Windows 11 sits at 33.37% percent mark in September 2024 Windows 11 increased its market share by 1.774 points which is quite a significant jump considering the operating system was losing market share only a few months ago year over year growth is 9.73 points Windows 11 was at 23.64% in September 2023 with Windows 11 steadily gaining more users each month Windows 10 is slowly decreasing in popularity. However, the 10-year-old operating system still supremely out, outmatches its successor 2 to 1. Stat Counter says Windows 10 has a 62.79% market share. In September uh, 2024, it went down by 1.35 points. And then it says a negative 8.83 uh, points year over year. It says this trend is expected to continue as Windows 10 enter its final year of mainstream support. Microsoft is also expected to launch a big new feature update for Windows 11 later this month, which alongside new processors launched from Intel and AMD can also help the operating system speed up its adoption rate. And it says in total, Windows 10 and Windows 11 holds a 96.16% of the market. Mm. With the, with the remaining 3% plus taken mostly by Windows 7, the latter has a steady 2.85%. So let's see here, uh, Windows 10 is a 62.79% and, and in parentheses is negative 1.35 points. Windows 11 is 33.37% plus 1.74 points. And then Windows 7 is 285 <laughs> Uh, do I get this here? 2.85 uh, percent, a negative 0 0.2 points. Windows 8.1 uh, is 0 0.36 uh, percent and a negative uh, 0 0.05 points. And then Windows XP, XP in the building. What? Anyway, <laughs> says uh, 0 0.34 percent. Uh, 0. Point, then uh, then it has a negative 0 0.06 points. Says here. Uh, uh, you can find more information about stat counter findings on the website. Keep in mind that the data may not be 100% as only Microsoft can provide accurate breakdown of its operating system uh, segmentation. Sadly, it, it won't do it, so developers and users have to rely on third-party analytics service. Yeah, Windows XP is around, I think. Let me see, Wind I think Windows XP has like three three service uh three service packs uh um three service packs and then i think windows 2000 has like i think four if i'm not mistaken yeah and you need those if you're gonna if you're gonna run uh, older uh older games too you know <laughs> yeah uh let's see let's see what these are uh, windows uh debaters talk about here in the, in the comments what do we got okay let's see here uh let's see uh uh Mountain Dew, what's it? Mountain Mountain Dew Code Red Freak. <laughs> That's a name, all right. He said, "I say good. Let the 32-bit thing go already. We're in 2020. Time to embrace 64-bit." Really though. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess uh, old, uh, old uh, like they said, like like they say on. Um, uh, on a, on the movie uh, Ronin, 
old habits they die they die hard I guess old operating system uh, die hard too <laughs> anyway uh, Benji uh, Mueller said this I don't see how that's a problem mm. and then uh, Yo Yona said this I wish that counter had more information on Windows Vista mm. yeah people are still using Windows Vista you know yeah and they need someone 2000 to see how many people still use 2000 <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Paul said this: more users on Win on more users on Windows 11 than before, because people have to move, not because they want to move. Microsoft is doing their best to limit Windows 10 and move people to Windows 11. Uh, that and people buying new computers, which comes with Windows 11. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Uh, Edo, is a uh, Missy Doerd said this. Uh, he said, "Yeah, that isn't rocket science. All new devices come with Windows 11, so of course its market share will grow. These type of articles usually grab a few clicks, which is fair enough given sites need to keep the lights on, but are really just stats uh, stating the ble bleeding obvious." <laughs> well. <clears throat> Some people, some people are not. Look, when it comes to these operating systems, uh, some people are not uh, adaptable, adjustable. <laughs> when they, you know, you know, um, they like to stick with one operating system, thinking that that is the end all, be all. You know, and when they do that, when they, when they do that, um, the they don't realize that you know that they they don't realize that uh, uh, information tech. See, in, look, information technology is like uh, it's like Niagara Falls. It's always moving. So <laughs> most people that are on Windows 10, <laughs> they probably don't. They, they one they might not have the money to get the the new computer uh, for for they they don't have the money to get win, to upgrade to Windows 11. Or two, they don't want to do it. Or three, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. So they like their Windows 10. You know, it's kind of like what happened with XP before people moved on. <laughs> but anyway, um, what people don't understand is like, uh, you know, information technology moves. So um, uh, when Microsoft comes out um, with uh, a new operating system, it's usually to you know keep up with the times and the demands of uh, information technology and um, to combat the um, security secure um, the security um, that's out there you know I mean like the threats of uh, hackers and stuff like that so, and then keep you know you know business in the loop so you know um, that's why they do this you know it keeps them it keeps them um, it keeps Microsoft uh, you know on key it keeps Microsoft's uh, comp uh, it helps them maintain their competitive edge in the market when they um, when they come out with a new operating system, and um, you know it keeps them it keeps things fresh. It keeps it keeps it just keeps things moving. So um, versus just being stagnant with, with one operating system. So that's why these that's why that's that's why Linux and Windows or Apple they do this. And um, <laughs> most people though you know they're not they're not used to. Um, I would say they're not used to uh, to change <laughs> when things happen. You know, they they they, they want to they want things to remain the same. But you know, but you but you know, in life, life doesn't life is not stagnant. Life keeps moving, so you have to um you have to keep up with it. So <laughs> yeah, that is, it's the same with this uh with this Windows uh you know uh, operating system. But yeah. Windows 11 though is growing though that's for sure, and um, see what and what they don't know is that after Windows 11, Microsoft is coming out with a new operating system. So, like I've always tell people, when it comes to these Windows operating system, it's best you have two computers in your house in, or your apartment, one running Windows 10, one running Windows 11. That way you're you're on top of things and you're not behind, and you can keep up with the changes and the times you know of uh, Windows. Of what's happening uh, Windows wise, that way that way you don't um you know stay you know that that way you're not behind so to speak. But anyway, 
that's my thoughts on the whole uh, Windows uh, Windows 10, Windows Windows 11 uh, drama. But you know, people some people still use XP. Some people uh, still use uh, Vista. Some people are using seven. Some people are using eight. Some people are using 8.1. And some people are just using um uh, using uh, a whole lot of people are using ten. And some people are using eleven. And um, Fire Firefox, uh, Firefox is the um, Firefox is helping like uh, keeping those uh, operating systems alive. You know, like the XPs, the 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 Vistas, uh, seven, eight, and eight dot one. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris still Star Wars Star Trek back for Dark Side. Go. Peace.